Hello and welcome. I wanted to give a introduction uh, to the interface of Adobe Illustrator as well as creating some further videos that kind of cover some basic tools and such that we will be using in class. Uh, but I'm going to start with just kind of introducing you to where things are located in Adobe Illustrator and how you open up a new document. Uh, the first thing that I'll look at is you see on the left side we have all of these tools everything is, is pretty much located here as far as things that you can change the cursor to to interact uh, with the canvas and with the design that you're working on over on the right side you have lots of different functions we have our layers over here which we're going to look at in a minute you can have your color swatches over here uh, and just color in general in order to find the correct color and these are a lot of important things and also you can add more by going over to window and choosing some uh, to have them appear on the side as well. Uh, it's very interchangeable. Uh, Illustrator set up so you can put your favorite things in place and so that you'll have easy access to them. We're going to leave everything pretty much default. I'm going to start just by opening up a new document. So I'm going to go to file from the top menu and new and it's going to give me this dialog box. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can change on here. Most of it is not really important in the very beginning. Uh, I am going to draw attention to a couple of things though such as width and height, my ability to change the size of the canvas that I'm working on. This is actually a a large canvas for Illustrator. Uh, I'll explain why here in just a minute. A thousand by a thousand pixels is a, a size that I like to work in but it's actually fairly large for Illustrator. Another important one up here is the number of artboards. Uh, this can actually be edited easily when you're actually in the document working, uh, but you can set the number of artboards, say if you have uh, multiple pages of a design, uh, two sides of a business card, things like that. Uh, that can all be done really easily that way. There's also advanced options, which we're not really going to mess with because we typically use the same color mode uh, whenever we're interacting in Illustrator, except for when we're designing something for screen which is done less so in Illustrator, more so in Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK to show you what it looks like here. This is our basic canvas. It's a thousand by a thousand pixels. And I'm just going to draw attention to a couple of important things. Uh, one would be uh, kind of the main tool that we're going to use to kind of show examples. So I'm just going to grab a shape tool. I'll go into more detail on this later, but for right now I just want to grab a shape and, and bring it out here so you can see I'm actually going to switch to a circle so that this can show really well. Draw out a circle here. Now when I open up the layers palette you can see that it automatically placed it on one layer. If you're familiar with Photoshop it creates layers automatically uh, no matter how much you put in there. As you put them in it automatically generates layers or you create new ones and place them on there. With Illustrator it's very easy to work entirely on the same layer. Everything will be spread out here if you do the drop down but it's actually very very advisable for each new item that you bring in in order to keep things organized that you add new layers to work in and that you rename them to something that you can recognize now these these layers are very literal uh, for example if I bring in another circle here I'm going to draw out a new one and I'm going to change its color to something so I can create a distinction and put it above because this layer is higher and this one is lower that's the way it represents in the canvas as well so it's a literal representation of the layout on your canvas I can also take this one and drag it below however and get the opposing result so within each layer there's a hierarchy of lower and higher and then the layers themselves are a hierarchy of lower and higher you can edit all of that very easily but just being aware that it's there and how it works is extremely important. So whenever you're putting together a design, make sure that you're using your layers. Another thing that I want to look at just really quickly is that I can zoom almost indefinitely on this image. If you're familiar with digital photos, if you're familiar with working in something like Photoshop, you know that this is not something you can do. The reason I'm able to do that is because Illustrator is a vector editing program. It does not edit things like photos nearly as well as Photoshop does because it is built for vector. A vector is essentially not really an image. It is a mathematical equation. When you zoom in, all it's doing is multiplying that equation so that you can see it closer up. 
So that makes it really, really useful, but at the same time, it also limits what it's able to do. For example, I cannot turn a high-resolution photo, I cannot turn that directly into a vector and maintain the same look. It will change. Uh, vectors have to be broken down into solid shapes. So even if it has the appearance of a gradient or shading, in reality it's just very, very small solid shapes put together in order to create a vector piece. So this is a calculator and you're not really working with images, you're working with mathematical equations that look like images. Because of that you will also find that Illustrator has a tendency to crash from time to time. It may glitch, it may crash, save your work often because it is one of the buggier of Adobe's programs. It's much more stable than it has been in the past but you should always be wary and save often. In fact, file save as just save it and then whenever you need to save again throughout the process all you have to do is hit command S 